In this video, we would understand how to swap two numbers using the bitwise operators. In fact, this technique is such an efficient technique that it doesn't suffer from the problem of overflow and exceptions. So let's explore. Well, I would again begin by considering two variables A and B. A contains the data 10, whereas B contains 6. Obviously, I'm not supposed to use the third variable to perform swapping. And in this case, I'm going to make use of the bitwise operator. And in that, I'm going to make use of the XOR bitwise operator. All that I need to do to swap these two numbers is to perform the XOR operation thrice. Well, if you don't believe that three times XORing A and B is going to swap it, let me explain it to you. First, this is what is the first XOR between A and B. Even before I proceed with XORing, this is the truth table speaking about the way XOR behaves. When the input bits are the same, output is zero, and when the input bits are different, the output is one. Applying that to this set of numbers, this is what is the result. And the result, I would store it in A. That is the code for it. Next, I again XOR A and B. And the result of XOR, this time, I'm going to place it in B. That is the code. Next, the third time, I would be XORing A and B. That is the result. And the result, this time, I store it in A. And that is the code for it. And you can see that the numbers are swapped. In fact, this is the complete code. And when I'll execute, this is the output. So, you have noticed that XORing the inputs thrice can swap the numbers. So, what you have learnt in this video is one of the most efficient swapping techniques. In fact, this technique doesn't suffer from the problem of overflow or exception. In fact, you can make any of the inputs, either A or B, as zero and you can check the logic still works. So, this is how you can swap numbers using the bitwise operators. To know more on swapping, watch my next video.